Hello, my fellow faintly flickering fluorescent filaments. I'm Mr. Church. Today, I'm going to be looking at the new Old Glory chimney set that's just come out in the Atom Shop. And it's got some unique uh, properties to it. So I'm going to show some cool blueprints that I was able to figure out with it. And I'm also going to go into the mechanics of blueprints and why they work and such like that. So as you can see, the uh, it comes with the three pieces and you can't place them down just like any old place. They have to be snapped into a doorway um, and then you can snap the other pieces to it and through walls. You can't snap a wall through with this. So you do have to put the wall down first and then put the chimney in after that. Uh, but after that, you can remove pieces of it and leave pieces of it floating. You can put them in in different orders and it's all fun and games, and we all laugh and jiggle. I giggle. Now, the top piece smokes. That's good. It kind of reminds me of the dumpster fire that is. Oh, no, this game's great. And also, Old Glory Fire piece does snap into it. And that piece is a light, and the rest of it is a miscellaneous chunk you'll find in the miscellaneous tab. And that's worth noting, first of all, so you can find it again once you buy it, since they haven't sorted out the build menu about 12 years. And because, for some reason, this old chimney piece is light, as well it counts as a light now i want to talk about mechanics for a second so a japanese youtuber named oni tatuko i think is how you would say it in english but i'm probably incorrect had a tutorial on making floating catwalks several years ago and um, i thought it was really interesting and basically you have this carpet and then you have the two snapped together and then suddenly it allows you to place down the catwalks floating which they don't normally do as you may uh, no, as you may know that. I don't know why you would know that. Everyone knows that. But now you can have pieces of it floating. How good is that? And I thought, oh, that logic might apply to the covered bridge because the covered bridge has this piece which can go down, but then this slice has to be snapped to the OG piece, and that's the only thing it'll snap to besides another slice. So I thought, you know, if we have two slices, like a pizza, uh, I don't know, set it like that. And you had a uh, rug or a floor item uh, then maybe you could put down just one slice if you had two slices together and then you took one away you know just like we did with the catwalks it turns out this did work um, and I have a whole video on blueprints if you're interested in seeing some more stuff like that I actually have two blueprint videos but the point of what I'm trying to say is um, the same logic can be applied to also the Brotherhood of Steel bridge which is right uh, this thing right here, and also um, the uh, destroyed highway kit as well will do the same thing. Uh, but it made me think long ago that you might be able to do the same thing with this uh, old fireplace piece. Because you can't normally put down those segments on their own. But if you have a item that gets its support from the ground, it doesn't have to be a rug like we used over here. Uh, it can be any old thing that sits on the ground, a stash box, a uh, condom... Oh, no. And then blueprinting the top, then the bottom, you'll be allowed to place this down anywhere you want. And then this allowed us, of course, to use these chunks. Instead of having a fireplace, you could make, like, walls out of it and use it as decorative fencing, stuff like that. Uh, anyway, because of that, I thought to myself, you know, maybe the old glory fireplace will have some in, uh, similar properties. You know, we might be able to do the same thing. But I also thought... Uh, you know, there might be a few more things we could do, uh, because there's a snapping, f uh, fireplace in there. Um, and I was brainstorming a little bit with Vapid Valentine, and she instructed me to think about it more. And after I was given the free will to use my brain, which I hadn't thought to do at until that point, I realized, oh shit, there's something else you can do with this new item, which I'll show in a little bit but first one thing we can learn is patience have you ever thought about having that uh no well maybe now's a good time to learn because if i can even wait to look at my own what am i saying so i'm gonna make a group of different blueprints out of the different variations of the fireplace piece you can snap roofs through these it's very forgiving and then you can use this item here and I'm using this Blue Ridge toy truck because it's small and it gets its support from the ground. But you can use anything. You can use a, a lamp. You could use a chair. You could use a rug. It, a stash box. As long as it's sitting on the ground and that's where it gets its support from, this is like an anchor piece. It gives the whole blueprint a support piece. 
and it allows you to place down pieces that wouldn't normally be able to place down. So basically how it's working is the two pieces that are snapped together, the chimneys, they need to be snapped to something, and they are. They're snapped to each other. Um, and normally they can also snap to the doorways, uh, but this way you don't have to snap them into the doorway because they're snapped to each other. And then the blueprint has this anchor piece in it, so it says, oh, it has floor support, which is what it needs. Oh, these two items need to be supported, and they are. And this one's interesting because the fireplace snaps. If the fireplace didn't snap to that, it wouldn't work. But because the fireplace snaps in there, you can just use the fireplace itself. Uh, and the fire log is what I meant to be saying this whole time. That didn't make any sense. As the second piece that's giving it support. And you can use the two pieces together. And you can make some cool walls with it. It's exactly the, the height of a wall. So these would be really cool as wall items. If you try to make the same kind of blueprint and you don't have that second item snapping to it, so I'll just do the fireplace empty and then one floor item, what you'll find is that the uh, the blueprint won't work. It'll say that it's floating. What's actually happening is it needs support. A lot of times the error codes are incorrect, um, and that's ironic if you think about it, but don't think about it. That's one of the worst things you could actually do is think about it. Um, but because this snaps, as I said... Uh, and you can actually toggle snapping on and off, but uh, because it snaps in like that, that is the snapping requirement for this chimney piece. So that actually is really cool uh, that you can free place this small chimney piece, um, basically, inside your house if you want to. Uh, have it in your house more and not sticking through the wall at all. Uh, if you just use that blueprint with the fireplace in it, you don't have to worry about it hitting the ceiling or anything like that. And you don't need to make the super tall pieces that we had before if you want to get rid of it uh, or have it on its own um, you don't actually need to make a blueprint if you switch that wall to a normal wall instead of a doorway you can remove it leaving that behind and then you can snap these to each other so you could have it be this chunky thing you could have it be whatever and even easier uh, even more simple than that uh, is you could just stick this in uh, snap something to it, didn't matter which one it is, and then you can get rid of that, get rid of the wall, and then you can put that piece back, whatever it may be, whether it's the normal one or the fireplace one. So you don't need to make a blueprint uh, to place these down, uh, by the way, without uh, you know having them snap through a wall. Um, that is the simple way to do that. Like I said before, if an item needs support from something, uh, and then that requirement is met, in the blueprint and then it also has a floor item uh, that the the blueprint can take priority in when it's placing something down then you can place those items down even though they don't wouldn't normally be allowed to so that's why these free place wall uh blueprints work and you have this one with the vines that vapid valentine uh came up with and you have the classic one with the catwalks i have no idea who came up with that one that was pretty old people have been using that for a long time but you also have um another way of getting a free place wall that doesn't require any of that at all and this is a um this is one that i figured out when i was making my second blueprints video if you want to give that a check out i'll put those in the description and you may be wondering as well what the hell does this have to do with the uh the chimney pieces well we'll get to that and again i think that patience i think they say it's a virtue do they say that i don't think so but anyway, if you place one of these free place walls on top of a big carpet, you'll then be able to put a door in there. Then, if you uh, blueprint the door, the wall, and the big carpet, you can actually use that as a free place wall blueprint. And this one's really nice because you don't need any Atom Shop items to make this blueprint. Uh, if you have someone else place it down for you, and then you make sure that door that's in it is one that you own... Uh, you can blueprint it, and then you can use it in your own camps, um, and you don't need a catwalk, because the door is serving as the catwalk slash vine in that situation, because the door is giving support to the wall, and the wall is giving support to the door, and then you have the rug, which is doing two things. It's because doors need something underneath them, so it's doing that, first of all, but it's also giving you that floor support, which is what these types of blueprints need. 
I just wanted to add that into this video because someone did comment on one of my videos the other day asking if there was another way to free play stores if they didn't have the catwalks or the vines. And this is one way that you can do that. But the other way you can do that is with the new Old Glory chimney. So if you have the chimney piece and you put it in a doorway, then you have a floor item. It can be anything. It could be this chair for all I know. How cozy would that be? So you have the, the chimney, which is giving support to the wall, and then the wall, which is giving the support requirement for the, for the chimney. And then you have that floor item, which is giving uh, support for that all. Uh, if, by the way, if you want to put any of these on top of a foundation or roof, you need to put a rug underneath it first because it's going to intersect, uh, try to snap to the foundation and it won't work. Anyway, um, as you can see, this is a new free place wall blueprint that we have uh, because of how it snaps into doors. And because unlike doors, it doesn't need a floor underneath it. It's a lot simpler uh, to make than the, uh, the, the door one that I show. Um, but the door one is your budget version if you can have the means for it to be able to do that. And you may be wondering to yourself, uh, do I get a commission for Atom Shop sales? And you're, you're on to me. That's so true. I really do. That's You got me. Everyone knows that I suckle suckle on Bethesda's big one. That's what I'm known for, actually, in the community. Uh, and Bethesda's always asking me, hey, could you do this with us? We'd love to have you... Uh, oh, here's a chair. Do you want a chair? How about a, we have a pit boy for you since you've made all this content that's made people buy our products. By the way, you can also, if you have the blinds, uh, this is the easiest free place option available. Some people keep saying that they, uh, they, they, they patched it out, but you can still, you can still do it. it still works. I don't know what, what you did wrong, but you're doing something wrong. There's a final thing that you can do with a chimney. Uh, and that's you can make a funny little entrance area to your house that even Santa would like to use. Um, and then you can, if you put a chair next to it, you can interact with the chair and you go through it. If you do this, uh, you can't have it snapped through the wall. It just won't work because it'll block off the entryway. But if you free place it so that it's like a little bit this way more so that the, the walls are not uh, cutting that spot off, then you'll be perfectly fine. I have a actual build video that i'm working on that'll be out soon i just saw this and i thought i'd throw together this quick video hope you guys appreciate it and that you still love me so much uh and by the way thank you so much to my patrons and channel members for loving me so much i really appreciate the support uh you guys really do put a hole in my banana i wish that i hadn't said i'll see you guys in the next video